Hey guys, and I am here with my first ever episode of Clash of Clans. So, I've kind of been wanting to do this walkthrough for a while. I uh, also just wanted me to do this. And I've kind of just been waiting for a good time. And I guess I decided I want to do it now. Finally figured out a way to get a second account kind of going. And that's what I've been waiting for. Finding a way to do that. So... Uh, yeah, I've decided to do the tutorial just for the sake of it. Um, just because there is some stuff going on in the tutorial. And without further ado, let's start playing. Welcome, Chief. We sure have been waiting for you. Wait, what? 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 You've been waiting for me? Maybe I should have started this walkthrough sooner. This is your new village. Isn't it lovely? Not yet. Life here life here would be perfect if it wasn't for dot 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 dot. <laughs> Quack, what is this? Another puny human? Puny human. I need a voice for that guy. How about Quack, what is this? Another puny human? I like that. Okay. That's your voice. Oh no! It's the Goblin Horde! Yeah, that's my voice for her. Oh no! It's the Goblin Horde! Quickly! Let's set, let's set up a cannon to defend the village! Okay. So we're gonna have to start a cannon. If you don't know what Clash of Clans is, it's basically where you have a town and you build up a town and you gain these and you gain these um and you gain money by attacking other people's towns and destroying them because the half the aspect of the game is building up a powerful town village to um defend against these other attacking players from around the world. The other half is to build up a powerful army to attack other players around the world. That is Clash of Clans. Well, there's also these things called clans, where villagers team up to fight other clans in clan wars. And that's a whole other thing. I haven't got, we haven't got, I don't know. It's gonna, I'll mention it more later when I, when I get a clan castle. Or when the tutorial's over. Wow! There they are! Goblin Horde! Attack! Bring it on. Here come the goblins. Here they come. I'm just saying this is totally incorrect if you know if you've been played the game. Um this is totally incorrect because they would have gone for the um gold mine. They should have gone for the gold mine. If it was correct, they would have gone for the gold mine. Blue, that was a close call. Dad, thanks, Chief. I don't know if that was my old voice, but it is my old voice now. We build the village on a ley line. That means the cannon will mechanically repair itself over time. The wizards from Ivory Tower are here to help us. Let's take out the goblin camp. I just want to say, wizards are a troop you get much, much later. You unlock different troops by upgrading your barracks, and wizards are barracks level 6. So, or is it? No, it's 7. Attack! Let's attack, let's attack. Okay, so basically the idea is to send in a bunch of wizards, but I'm not going to send in all my wizards. I think there might be a point where I might want to use them a little. You see that kind of health they have? That's why they're dark, that's why they're barracks level 7. They have the all-powerful power of archers from being able to shoot away, except they do a little bit more damage and have way more health. It's just OP. I'm telling you, if I were doing this with archers, they all will either be dead, or the attack would take a full three minutes. You have three minutes for every raid, I believe. I think, maybe it's later in the game that becomes, but yeah, at least at the beginning. Wow, now... Wow, nice going! Now we need to get this village into fighting shape! What are you going to make me do? Upgrade my town hall? Second builder! Oh! 
Okay, let's put in a builder. I don't know you have to do this, but yeah. Um, so these, now I can bring up the subject of gems. These things called gems are, um, these things called gems are things you spend real money in app purchases to get. You start with a bunch and occasionally you get little bits, but it's what, but people will spend hundreds of dollars on these gem things. And that's how you get builders up, except for the second one. The second one you can do without paying. And if you, like, save up all your achievements, it is possible to get the third one. Along with nature. Nature is another way. If you get achievements, you get little bits of gems. And I'll talk about a little bit more about gem boxes and nature, because that's the other way of getting gems. Without money. Elixir is essential for training troops and building many structures. Um, elixir you can build, yes, yeah, so you can build up some structures, but you mainly use it to feed your army so they'll work for you. You can pump, pump elixir from the underground. Layla, let's try it! So yeah, this is my thing that I get elixir from, or with. By the way, I will change my village setup in the future. Um, the collector can only store a small amount of elixir, so it's going to make me upgrade it. No. Let's build a storage, because I can only hold a thousand elixir, and I started off, I already have a thousand from that attack. So elixir collector and gold mines are the second way of producing gold and elixir. We don't have gold mines yet. We have one. We also need a safe place to store our gold preserves. See, your town hall holds a free thousand, but you have to get your storages to hold the rest that you have. Guan gold. Wait, no. Guan gold. We goblins love gold. Okay. Chief, chief. We need an armory to fight those goblins. We need a barracks or build a barracks. See, so yeah, this is how you're gonna make your army. You get multiple barracks in the future. Um. But as for now, we just got one. It's level one. You upgrade it to unlock these more troops. Before training these barbarians, I'll just show you. First off, we got the barbarian. He's the first off troop. Eh. He's not that good. He's really only good in numbers or at the beginning. Archer. Then we have goblin. Yes, you unlock goblins. They're like, But they do something very different. I don't get the logic of being able to unlock goblins. When they're your enemies. I thought maybe it's like double agents or something, or rebels, but then why can you have so many? Giants, that's the next thing. Then we got wall breakers. I can't train any of these, as you can see, that's why that message is popping up. Balloons. And as you can see, if you're looking at the stats, they're all getting, each time they're getting a little more powerful. Wizards. Dragons, and then finally, Pekas. So there's this whole thing about dark barracks, but that's not important right now. Okay, so we're just gonna hold on this until it gets to 20. Okay, yeah, we only have a level one army camp, so we can only hold 20. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, we can only hold 20 space, which means, um, I mean, I mean, we can only hold 20 troops at once, so if you train any more, we can't even use them. Well done. Now let's hick some. Well done. Now let's hick some green butt. I don't know what the point of saying that is. Attack? Attack the goblins. Payback is the first goblin level. Now, you won't be attacking the goblins the entire game as I talk about attacking other people in real life. Um, the idea is that these are like single player missions. And then as you get farther on, you'll, um, start, that wizard is totally wasted, it's not doing anything. Or once you defeat the defenses, you pretty much won the battle. But yeah, um, the goblins are really, like, they're single, single player missions, but then there's attacking other people, which gets you these things called trophies. Trophies pretty much show you how, show people how good you are. And there is a thing where you can see how good, the best person in the world, the top 200 people in the world, because there's that many people playing this game. There is the, um, and then, that was a great, and then, um, and that's all based off trophies. 
That was a great battle. How shall you be known in our history? Okay, I'm just gonna. I've give, I've given this a lot of thought, and I'm just going to. Yeah, you can never change this. I'm just gonna do Stormtube. I will be joining a clan. In my, if you want, it'll be one. I was saying, if you want, it'll be one of your guys' clans. If you want, I think in the future, we're on most of the controller is gonna do Clash of Clans walkthroughs, and then we're going to um make a season controller clan. But for now, I need a clan. With the gold we, we with the gold we took from the goblins, we can afford to upgrade the town hall. The town hall is the thing you upgrade. It allows you to upgrade. It's like the main building. It allows you to upgrade other things, and it, and it allows you to build other things, like unlock new things to build. Because I can only have one elixir collector and one gold mine right now. Upgrading that town hall, I can now have two of each. Great job! We can we can build area buildings. Thanks to the town hall up, we can build new buildings thanks to the town hall upgrade. Let's check it out. Oh wait, achievements. Okay. Cheap, you obviously know what you're doing. The whole village is counting on you. I won't allow. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up these graves. When someone attacks you and they and their their troops die. It, their troops turn into graves, and if you tap on those graves, you get elixir. Um, so I already have the max amount of gold, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my gold storage real quick. I have two builders, so now you see I only have one builder. You can only be building two things at once unless you buy more builders with real money. But, um, let's see, what else should I do? That way I can hold more gold. Um, I'm fine on elixir. I'll probably trade some barbarians, but all this I'm going to do offline. Um, night. Um, off screen. I'm gonna be. I'm always going to be. And be up. Um, upgrades will finish over time. So if I up start upgrading something, next the next episode it will be done upgrading. I won't upgrade anything off screen, but I will train troops off screen, just so that I won't attack off screen. So I'll, I'll train troops off screen so that they're ready to attack. Um, in the next episode. So that was the tutorial, and um, and that wraps up the first episode. So bye, guys. See you next time.